Christmas is just around the corner, and 2022 is coming to an end, which means a new year with hundreds of new games. If you're unsure of what to play or what to ask for on your Christmas list next year, here are five highly anticipated games that I'm most excited about being released in 2023. Skate, or more commonly known as Skate 4, is a new installment in the Skate franchise, which was created by EA. Ten years on since the release of the last installment in the Skate series, EA announced that they were working on a fourth game. Many people when they found out were incredibly excited, as it was commonly believed that Skate 3 would be the last game in the series. Many fans are excited to see a Skate game with better graphics, controls, and mechanics. The game is currently in very early development, or as the Skate team like to call it, pre-pre-pre-alpha. There are a few major new mechanics that are being introduced, such as parkour, and new tricks that have never been seen before in the franchise. The Skate team are also trying to make the game feel as responsive and realistic as possible. While this will make the game feel better to play, many fans of Skate 3 are hoping that the game continues to have glitches, as these are what made the game fun to play. Some people are worried that the new Skate game is going to become another one of EA's money-making cash grabs, like every single FIFA game. However, I'm hopeful that this won't be the case. Skate is set to release sometime in 2023, and if you're a fan of the previous games, you should definitely get this one. With the astronomical success and critical acclaim of Marvel's Spider-Man for PS4 and Spider-Man Miles Morales, Insomniac Games are releasing a sequel exclusively for PlayStation 5. Marvel's Spider-Man was an incredibly well-made game, selling 3.3 million copies within three days, making it the fastest-selling first-party video game release in Sony's history. And Miles Morales won the Annie Award for Outstanding Achievement for Character Animation in a Video Game. With the huge success of both games, fans are incredibly excited about this new release. Not much is currently known about the game, however, in the teaser trailer, Venom was shown walking out of the shadows towards Peter and Miles. This could mean Venom is a playable character in the new game. Spider-Man 2 is exclusive to PlayStation 5, which is unfortunate for PS4 players as it means they won't be able to play this game. Insomniac say it is still set to release sometime in 2023, however the exact date is yet to be decided. If this new game is of the same standard as the last two, I'll definitely have to buy a PS5 next year to play it. Sons of the Forest is the sequel to The Forest, a survival horror game developed and published by N Night Games. The Forest was released in 2018 and takes place on a remote island after a plane crash leaves only you and your son alive. In the game, you must build a secure base and protect yourself from cannibalistic mutants who are trying to kill you at all times. How relaxing! The original game was incredible when I played it with friends, and when I heard that a sequel was coming out, I knew I had to get it. Sons of the Forest is set to release on the 23rd of February 2023. The game seems to have similar gameplay and mechanics to the original, however the graphics look incredible. And if you thought that the premise of this game was scary, take a look at the absolute abominations you have to go up against. I am extremely excited to play Sons of the Forest, and I would absolutely recommend you to try the original game if you haven't already. Maybe don't play it in the middle of the night though. The Day Before is an open world MMO zombie survival game set in post-pandemic America. Oh wow, a zombie game? I'm sure that's never been done before. In all seriousness, this game looks really good. The graphics are amazing, and the gameplay also looks incredibly fun. In the game, your main aim is to survive against zombies and other players scavenging and looting from buildings in order to have a better chance at surviving. One of my favourite details that has been teased is the fact that your gun can sometimes jam. This deepens the realism of the game and makes it stand out against other similar games. Many people are hopeful that this game will contain a single player story mode, as well as the current online player versus player gameplay that has been leaked. However, this is yet to be confirmed. The day before is set to release on the 1st of March 2023. Hollow Knight Silk Song is the sequel to the original Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is a 2D platformer with boss elements and is widely seen as one of the best indie games. It was released in 2017 by the indie game company Team Cherry, which is made up of only three people. Hollow Knight Silk Song has people very excited as fans of the first game were impressed with the dark graphics, fun movement, and well designed and challenging gameplay. People are hoping for the same great production a second time round. Hollow Knight Silk Song is set to release sometime before July 2023. So, there you have it. Five games coming out in 2023 that I think are going to be amazing. 
Hopefully I've helped you decide what to put on next year's Christmas list. If I've missed a game that you think should have been in this video, let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and check out the other videos on my channel, if you're interested. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.